This is Paul. <laughs> you know, um, I looked at what is deceptive yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> See, I spent Christmas by myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, just doing a little research on what is known as deception. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm. A lot of police and sheriffs said, well, <laughs> uh, the color of aid of deception. Yeah. It, it is not applicable to my personal life. And I thought it was. Yes. But when you are deceptive in the knowledge that you have that proves the innocence of any of those that are accused, yeah. you have been involving yourself in deception. <laughs> now, a lot of these consumer laws, yes, mm -hmm, they involve the obstruction of the rights of individuals to participate in the buying or selling yes, of anything. Yes, And I'm going to want the employees of the National Consumer Law Center. <laughs> I'm going to be going back there today and looking at some of the other literature that they have yeah. when I'm able to use a desktop. Ouch! Now, these state statutes, um, that makes it very, very, there's lots of different types of deceptions. Yes, there is. Mm. And today I'm going to want to know you. Yes, because I spent Christmas Mr. by myself. And now I'm upset. Yes. Mm. Anger can be a strong emotion. Oh! And I thought for sure when I was there, I'd just be real quiet and I'd not say anything. Yes. So as to not cause you to arrest me for the false accusation of being loud in a hospital. <laughs> now, they talk about these different uh, prohibited practices, <laughs> broad deception prohibitations, <laughs> broad unfairness prohibitation. Yes. Rulemaking authority. <laughs> you know, when I get done today, you're going to be very upset. You're going to be upset because.